Good morning, this is Kevin and I'm out on another walk. It's going to be a slightly longer walk today. But I've started it in Esbourne, which was noted in the Doomsday Book. Um, but just over to my left there is the Esbourne Priory, which was built by the Bohun family, 1238 I think for 12 Augustinian canonesses. Huge building, substantial building. But it's right at the side of the church. So I'm gonna have a quick wander around the outside of the church, and then I'm gonna press on with my walk. And as I crunch my way around the footpath, I'm just entering the footpath around the parish church of St Mary's in Esbourne. Quite a big church. And somewhere in here, I don't know where exactly it is, but is the the graves of one of the Lord Caldrews. You would imagine it would be quite a substantial um, tombstone or headstone. Let's just have a wander down here. See what we can find. As you can see, it goes all the way down through here into the churchyard with several yew trees in the grounds. Let's just keep wandering around this footpath here. See what we can find when we get down the bottom here. I've just noticed a very large headstone down here, which could be that of the uh, one of the Lord Caldries that was here. It's a very well kept gravestone over there compared to the rest. It's quite overgrown. As you can see, all down here. But this one, the grass is kept very short. And here we have it. Wheatman Harold Miller Pearson, second Viscount Caldry, born the 18th of April, 1882, died the 5th of October. 1935 and his wife Agnes Beryl born the 20th November 1881 and died the 19th of February 1948 and that's Wheatman John Churchill Viscount Cowdery born 1910 to 1995 with his wife Elizabeth Georgina 1926 to 2011 and the other headstone I have to say I can't read at all so that we have it that's the two generations of the Pearson family so I'm now going to walk back out of the cemetery and I'll give you one more look at these yew trees that are all scattered around here and I'll press on with my walk. As you can see behind me, I've got this sort of avenue of trees and these trees, these massive, huge trees they are sweet chestnut trees. I've never seen sweet chestnut trees so big. This one looks as if it's a bit dead. But just look at the size of this thing. Absolutely huge. And they're all around me on this, as I say, on this avenue. Going up, this is part of Esbourne. And I found out something that the hamlet of Henley used to come under the parish of Esbourne as did 
Cocking, which is uh, about four miles away. So the parish of Esbourne at one time covered a very big area. But just look at these trees again. I just can't get over the size of them. But the, the avenue of trees continues all the way along here. At the moment, we're running parallel with the golf course at Caldry, which is just up there beyond those trees. But I'm absolutely staggered by them. I've got a friend who's uh, known as the bald explorer, Richard Vobes, and I think I might bring him here to have a look at these trees. And uh, Julia, that helps Richard, she's fascinated by trees and I'm sure she would love to see them as well so that's for another day just to give you one more look at the trees here absolutely huge well, I'm walking up through this <clears throat> woods now which is beech trees all around me fantastic and bluebells which are just finishing just down the bottom of this track <clears throat> I had to climb over a gate because I'd taken a wrong turning I think I'll be okay coming up this way but I want to get to the back of the golf course which I do know is up this way <clears throat> but I missed the turning back there um, I know there's a footpath that goes across the golf course and I was chatting to a chap very briefly as we walked up and I clearly missed a footpath oh a bit puffy this morning but I'm sure I'm, I'm okay I'm not doing anybody any harm And I didn't see any signs that says private property although the gate was chained up so let me just show you up through here again absolutely lovely and that's where I've come from down there and there's even up in that clearing there a copper beech tree growing I've seen two actually in this bit of woodland Absolutely lovely, love it out here. Oh, lots of little climbs to get to where I am now. I'm actually on Keldry Golf Club or Golf Course. Behind me there, that is the fourth hole, which is a very long par four. And if I turn here, that there is the green but the slope on this hole starts or the, the the slope coming up to the green from the TN area which is right down in the distance there it's continuous climb until you get to about just in front of me here and this is affectionately known as cardiac hill because in the past a few members have had heart attacks on this hill so it's quite daunting really but I just want to walk up here to the fifth tee which is just up around the back of these silver birch trees which are just here in front of me just there and there's some gorse all the flowers are now finished I used to be a member here but I just couldn't afford to keep it going. It's very expensive. Something I've never seen before in the old box. That's lovely to see. Just up there. But from this ting position up here, you've got a lovely view right across to the South Downs. It's absolutely stunning. This is a 
a three-tiered area and where I'm standing now is a competition tease and that's the view from the fifth tee this is the jet this is the men's tee and area I hasten to add three tier off areas just down there past these silver birch trees that's where the ladies and the juniors tee off from but absolutely stunning I've not played here since I left as a member but it's a very difficult course um, there's very few flat lies in fact just behind me I've seen that they've put another teeing area in since I was a member which is just here so this must be now the new competition tee where the gentlemen play off the whites wow what a difference that's going to make to this hole absolutely amazing anyway I'm going to press on with my walk Well, I'm just on my last bit of a walk today and I've just dropped down from Caldray Golf Course and I'm heading down this way to where there is an avenue of London plane, plane trees and it's quite remarkable where these trees the branches come down to the ground and new, new trees shoot off of them but the London Plains go up through there but if I wander down through here I'll show you where one of the branches has come down to ground level and there's two new trees formed from it the ground is very boggy underfoot. But here's the massive tr trunk of the London plane tree. And just here is the branch that's come down from up there. The branch is still alive on that bit, but it is now dead here. It's just all that bit is dead. But now you've got these two 
separate bits that have grown from it. And that one up there was from another bell that did the same thing. So I've now got to get out of here and head back up that way to the footpath unless I can get out through this way. But I'll end my walk here in amongst these London plane trees and this will be Kevin saying cheerio and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.